are in Austin, Texas today and going on a food tour. We reached out to a bunch of you guys on Instagram and you gave us all these recommendations. Unfortunately, we won't have time to go to every single one, but we're gonna do our best. We have seven on the list that we're gonna hit up today. Everything from ice cream to Asian fusion to barbecue. So we're really excited to see what Austin has to offer. First stop, of course, coffee. First up on our list is Summer Moon, which is our favorite coffee in all of Texas because it is known for its unique style of roasting beans in brick ovens over seasoned Texas oak. It is literally the best. This is literally the best thing I've ever eaten. Mm. And we are so excited to share it with you. We'll explain a little bit more about their style and their moon milk, which is what makes them so special. So they have the summer moon and the winter moon. The summer moon is their hot latte and their winter moon is their iced latte. Moon milk is kind of their signature creamer and nobody really knows what's in it, but I feel like it tastes like melted vanilla ice cream. Melted basically. vanilla with like maybe like a hazelnut in there or something. It's got like a nutty, a nutty creamy sugar taste. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Honestly, I think it's the best coffee in the world. Congratulations! World's best cup of coffee. I'm serious. Best coffee in the world. It's creamy, it's flavorful, it's not bitter at all. It's like, it's magic. It's very good. <laughs> it's very good. It's very good. Okay, let me try the hot one. <laughs> Which one do you like better? I gotta go with the cold one, especially since it's so hot. I think it's a high of like 88 here Ooh. in Austin today. The cold one just, I mean, it feels good. I almost feel like you can taste that it's wood fire. I know it's probably you think that's psychological. Just psychological. It's probably psychological. If you're ever in Austin, this is a must. Pleasant way to start the day. I was gonna say this is a perfect pick me up for what's gonna be a long day of stuffing our faces. <laughs> we need as much energy as we can. About to go into battle. The world's best coffee is gonna get a 10 out of 10 in taste from us, an 8 for ambiance, and one dollar sign. Well, Summer Moon was just as good as we remembered, but next up, I think we need some breakfast tacos. Mm. So we are headed to Veracruz All Natural. You heard me correctly. I said breakfast taco. <laughs> now, if you're from the north, you've probably only heard of breakfast burritos, but these are... Breakfast tacos. And they're just really good. They're way better. Way I don't tastier. really know what the difference is. Maybe just the way they're folded. And I think they're just more authentic. So the place we're going was started by two sisters who moved here from Mexico. And this place has been nominated for best breakfast taco and best taco in all of Austin. So our expectations <laughs> are A high. high. A little high. It's going to be so good. Here we go. We're open. Oh, very nice. It's real warm here today, but the nice thing is, is that they have these fans with misters. So it just literally sprays cold water droplets all over you. It's amazing. I am so excited. So I got the El Tradicional, which is eggs, bacon, Monterey Jack cheese, refried pinto beans, potato, and I think that's it. Did I say bacon? I'm really excited. <laughs> That's fantastic. I have missed a good taco. I just tried some of this sauce. <laughs> it's very spicy. Very good though. I got the fish taco, which is fried tilapia. It comes with a little cabbage slaw, a little mango pico, some avocado, and it comes with its own sauce, which is the chipotle mayo. Mm. Mm. Wow. The fish. It's so crispy, there's an immediate crunch. You usually don't get that. I feel like oftentimes fish tacos can be kind of mushy. Oh my gosh, I need another bite. 
so good. You gotta try this. Spirit Cruise's tacos were pretty darn good, so they're gonna get a seven from us in taste, an eight in ambiance, and one dollar sign. That was delicious. So good. So yummy. So and now we're on to the next place. To get some refreshing drinks. And welcome to Picnic, which is Picnic. a health conscious eatery in um, Burnett, I believe is where we are. They are known for their cocktails and fresh squeezed juices. So we thought in between all this heavy food and cheese and <laughs> dairy that we're going to be eating today, we would get something a little, a little bit lighter, fresh. a little, a little fresh. Bit refreshing and light. I decided to try the Picnic Palmer, which I think is their take on an Arnold Palmer, which is usually iced tea and lemonade, but this is house-made limeade and a rooibos blueberry tea. It looks beautiful. The colors, I feel like I'm in Hawaii drinking like some cocktail on the beach. I just want to lie on the beach and eat hot dogs. Wow, that's a zinger. It's very tart not too sweet so you definitely get that zing of tart mm. pretty good the picnic palmer is going to get an eight out of ten for us an atmosphere of nine and their price three dollar signs we only got to try one item on the menu but we only have so much space in our stomach today so we have to move on to the next one probably the most well-known taco place in austin torchies Because we just ate, we are only going to get the chips and queso. Oh, thank you. We are trying their award-winning green chili queso. It looks like it's topped with a bunch of cilantro and guacamole. I feel like the chips really make the difference. They're kind of greasy and warm and mm. perfectly salty. What's the predominant flavor that you're getting? Cheese. Cheese. <laughs> they didn't stir the ingredients up too much. Yeah, each bite is its own adventure. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's the best queso in the world, but I feel like it's the most unique. Yeah. And I guarantee you've never had anything like it anywhere else. So for the experience alone, definitely worth it. It is a multi-layered, multi-sensational experience. It is. That's a good way to describe it. Torchy's queso is going to get a 7 in taste, a 5 in atmosphere, and $1 sign. We are now at the Peached Tortilla, which is known for being southern comfort food with an Asian flair. They originally started as a small food truck, but now they've expanded to their own restaurant. And we're really excited to try the Banh Mi Tacos. So let's go check it out. Well, apparently they only serve the banh mi tacos after five and we are here way too early. So instead we're going for some barbecue pork buns, which I think will still be similar to banh mi, something I ate a lot growing up. So we'll see if it tastes nostalgic. Cucumber. Here we go. How is it? And the sauce has a bit of a sweetness that I wasn't expecting, but it was really tasty. The meat is cooked very well. The bun is like your traditional Asian bun. So like your pork buns or your red bean buns. And the texture just goes really well with the pork. It's a very interesting and tasty experience. Look at the crystallization here, the where it's all crunchy on the outside. That looks amazing. Mm -hmm. So beautifully done. And it's fatty, mm -hmm. and the fat is so flavorful. Wow. The meat's maybe a little dry in the middle. Yeah, I thought so too. But just the, a hair. The fatty outside, that's all crunchy. So good. 
the peach tortilla is going to get an 8 out of 10 for us in flavor because it was a little loud, a 7 in atmosphere, and 2 dollar signs. All right, we've experienced barbecue from the east, and now we want to go experience barbecue from the west. So we are headed to Franklin's, which is apparently the most popular barbecue place in all of Austin, and it's supposed to be really busy, so not even sure if we'll be able to get in. We're gonna give it a try. Let's go. Well, we're not at Franklin's because apparently they close at two and we did not know that. So we went to the next place that was recommended to us by a friend and our waitress at the last restaurant. So this is Terry Black's Barbecue. because we're really full <laughs> and some banana pudding. Yum. I think it's still gonna taste good. It smells absolutely amazing here. And we met some new YouTube friends. Hey. Hi! <laughs> so go follow Tommy too. Tommy too. We'll yeah, uh, we put it up here. It's yeah. always fun to meet other people that are vlogging and it makes this whole experience a little less weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, going dessert first. Yeah, this looks really good. We had banana pudding in Tennessee a few weeks ago. And now I'm just like on a kick of craving this stuff. I don't think there is actual banana in here. I think it's just banana flavored, which is different. Flavor is great, but I could go for some slices of banana. Try not to make a mess. If it's that's barbecue. possible. I started grabbing a fork and a knife and I was like, that's not how you eat barbecue. <laughs> you just gotta go for it. That's right. Oh man. Oh. Oh wow, it fell right off the boat. Oh my gosh, it literally fell. Legitimately melts right off the bone. I've never seen that before. One bite and it was just done wow, for. Amazing. That is very good. <laughs> Look at that. Dissolves in your mouth. Nice smoky flavor. We're already stepped to the rim, but we figured when in Texas, you gotta get some barbecue. So. Mm -hmm. Terry Black's ribs are going to get a 9 out of 10 from us, the banana pudding a 7, the atmosphere a 7, and the price $2 signs. Thank you. For our last stop of the day, we are at Amy's Ice Cream, which we've heard from many people is the best place to go. They have a lot of unique flavors. We went for the lavender gin, which sounds really interesting. But we thought if we're here, we gotta go with something unique. This is really good. I've had lavender ice cream in the past by one of our professional chef friends. And this tastes exactly like what he used to make. Flavorful, but not too powerful. Sometimes when you get lavender scented, not lavender scented, lavender flavored things can be really overpowering and strong, but this is like a perfect balance. After a long hot day, this is great. I'm trying to figure out if I can taste the gin. It's subtle. I also don't really know what gin tastes like, so that might be part of the problem. <laughs> I actually think the gin is a slightly more dominant flavor than the lavender. Oh really? It's not too sweet, which is what you'd get if it was like a honey lavender ice cream. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Amy's ice cream lavender and gin recipe gets a nine out of 10, the atmosphere a six, and the price one dollar sign. And that's going to conclude our Austin food tour for the day. If there's anything that we missed, make sure you comment it down below so that way everyone else can glean from your wealth of knowledge. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you in the next one. Okay, Summer Moon. <coughs> I don't think. <coughs> Excuse me. I figured we're not using that take anyway. Might as well. Get wow, it out. okay. All natural. Did it cover the whole thing? Yeah. Maybe. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you gotta do it like here. Oh, okay. Like close. Oh, okay. Ooh. Oh, okay. okay. Alright, ready? I'll show you where we just left our first stop, which was literally just coffee. And how are you feeling? Uh, I'm like marginally lactose intolerant. <laughs> and I got the full milk, so it's a lot of dairy. And I'm feeling a little nauseous. So I got the 
<laughs> we tried to sit down inside but didn't realize that you needed reservations so they kicked us out. So we're sitting in the parking lot right now trying it but... There's the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> we only got to try one menu on their item. One item on their menu. What do you think? Are you zoomed way in? Immediately gets it all over his face. <laughs> 